His own mind, but it don't matter. He's got more time for the lover to arrive. If he's still alive, he could be revived. But he's dead inside, and he's satisfied. What a lovely lie. This the type of shit to blow your speakers out. Emily over here wants to do some 25 reps with shoulder lateral raises. We don't do that here. We do sets of 12. That's why you have small shoulders. That's why I'm pathetic. That's why all the girls don't want a piece of can. We're actually doing a arm day. Well, I'm doing an arm day with a very special, lovely lady, Emily Arnold Fit, over there just, just crushing out some shoulders. We're going through one of her gauntlets and we're just gonna see how big I can actually get. What's the secret to big shoulders? Sets of 100. We don't do that. Carbolin. Donuts. You don't eat donuts. All the fit chicks into the video and give it When shoulders don't help compound movements. How are you wearing shorts? Alright, Emily Arnold Fit, is there anything you want to say to the people before we leave each other? Oh god, right on the spot? Uh, the, the, next, the next scene's calling, you gotta, gotta hurry up. Tag. Tag. Alright, everybody knows that no one really likes arm days. This is a powerlifting channel, and now we're at Alpha Fitness. So I'm trying to film the video for my boy Jimbo, but he seems to be running pretty late, so let me just call him here and see where he's at. Okay. Which is it easy? Do you like five or six of them? Well, dude, where are you? I'm at the gym right now. Oh, I can't see you. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, dude. Hey. Oh, okay. That was one weird dream about a vlog. I didn't even know where it began and where it even ended. And somehow we're back in Athens about a week later. And actually, we're about to go to a new gym. So well, why don't you why don't you come and follow me and we'll actually get this vlog underway by making it more sense to you. Wow, Cameron, you're back in TOL and you're not at a new gym. Wow, guys, some things just don't happen like the way I plan. So let's just go back to Athens and just tell you what was really going on. You want to talk? I know you've been feeling alone. Hello, peasants. Coming back to Athens, I thought I would stop at the grocery store, show you what I got and how a power lifter actually eats. So welcome to Groceries with Cam. First of all, we start off with some paper towels because you know we gotta stay clean around here and be a clean boy and keep this, this mess all well and good. Second on our list is in manners, good in potassium, good in fruit, and overall general, just good for you. Next are some peppers, add some spice to your food and whatever you're making, just always pretty damn good. The next thing you guys are not gonna like, you're gonna be like, yo, Cameron, that's not healthy at all. Well, you know what? I don't give a dang. Two frozen pizzas that taste pretty good, and you know what? They make me fat, and I like to be fat, especially when I'm competing for this meat that we're about three weeks out. Two bottles of sauce, teriyaki, and sweet and sour, adding some flavor to your life, whatever you want to put it on, rice, or maybe we'll put on some meat, whatever you like. Last thing, can of green beans, add this to your meals. It's always good for you. Add some greens into your life, and make you a little healthier than what you actually are. Maple sausage, I like to have a good good old breakfast, so that means egg whites or two eggs and then some sausage, maybe some cereal, and carblin, of course, and I like to have those nanners that we mentioned earlier. Good old noodles, this is rotini, I usually use spaghetti or for other carb sources I use rice that's in this cupboard right here. More greens, spinach, and I think this is like a mix with arugula and other types of things. I just mix this with other kinds of meals with meat and my spaghetti and 
if you see where I'm going with this. If I want to be a little freaky and I don't have a lot of time like meal prepping, I just get some sriracha chicken right here, just mix it with some rice and it's it's basically all the same thing, but this is a lot, tastes a lot better, but it's, it's a lot worse for you. Last thing we have for you guys is the meats that we have right here. You know I like my assorted meats. So we got some fresh ground turkey and then we have two things of ground chicken and we have some egg whites in the bag as well. Got all this stuff pretty cheap from Aldi's, less than 50 doll hairs and it lasts me about a week to a week and a half depending on how fat I am that week. Last thing I wanna leave you guys off with is the main meat of this video. So I've had some problems with my knees lately and it only happens within a, like three months of each other and it happens for like a week or two and they just hurt for basically almost no reason. For the last week I was at Alpha Fitness and they actually told me about floss. So this is some of it. It's just an elastic band you wrap around your joints and it lets pressure and blood go into the joint when you compress it. So imagine this around this. So just like so you do some squats with it on into a joint lean in a little bit and then you take that son of a gun off and let the blood flow back into the joint wrap that sucker super tight there's a lot of elastic bands here do some more squats with the blood flow in a little bit more easy And eventually it gets the swelling down and it makes my knee feel a lot better. What I originally thought was my patella ligament was hurting like a mother effer, but I think now it's more of like my tibia and my fibula, that ligament right in between there, because it's lower than my patella, but it feels like the top of my tibia on both knees. Usually when I squat super heavy or I stop squatting for a while and then come back to super heavy squats. Do I know why it feels better after I do this? Hell no. And I'm leaving you off with this one. The last note I have for all of you within the vlogs is I want to get more consistency within them. What that means is when I film, I want to film it all in one day instead of split up in chunks where it's obvious where I filmed it. It could be two completely separate days. It's going to be something I have to get used to and I got to stop mumbling over my words. But I hope you guys liked the video and you learned a thing or two about floss and I really don't understand why it feels better. I guess it's just the compression and the blood flow just going into that joint or ligament when you compress it. But grab yourself some floss if you're having some joint issues in your shoulders or knees, I swear on my life and everything that's holy. This is the shiz knit. So hope you guys like the video, subscribe, holla at your boy down in the comments below and I'll see you all in the next one.